Hey everybody! So in this video, we are going to be talking about finding certain characteristics of polynomial functions. So they give us in the problem, given this function, p of x equals x, x plus 3, x minus 5, find the following. So they want us to find the y-intercept, the x-intercept, both s points, and then they want us to determine n behavior here. So as x approaches positive infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. So in order to find the y-intercept as a point, we will need to make our x value zero, because we know on a coordinate plane that whenever x is zero, that you would have some y value, and that would be my y-intercept. So here, the y value is going to be zero times zero plus three times zero minus five. Now we can go ahead and kind of end this problem early because we're multiplying here and we know anything times zero is zero. But if we wanted to write out the steps, we could. Here's zero times three times negative five. So we have zero times three is zero and zero times negative five is zero. So we want this as a point. So here, when x is zero, the y value is also zero. That means that the y-intercept here is going to be at the origin, which we can see from our graph here. Now it says the x-intercepts. So in order to find the x-intercepts, we need to set this function equal to zero. So here we have x, x plus three, and x minus five. We'll set this equal to zero. Now, the great thing about having this in factored form is that in order to find the x-intercepts, we can set each factor equal to zero. So we have x equals zero, x plus three equals zero, and x minus five equals zero. So here we have one x-intercept at zero, we have another x-intercept at negative three, and we have our last x-intercept at positive five. So it wants these as points, so we should say zero, zero, negative three, zero, and five, zero. Lastly, they want us to look at in behavior. So as x approaches positive infinity, this means that you look to the right of your function and you see what the graph is doing. Here, my function is going up. So the y values are approaching positive infinity. And then when I look to the left over here, my y values are going down. So as I look to the left, as x approaches negative infinity, y is approaching negative infinity. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.